You know, what exactly is probability? Well, let's just take a simple example like a hat. If you have a hat and there's three marbles in there, two red and one blue, what's the probability that I reach into this hat and I pick a red marble? Well, when you think of probability, it's the number of successful outcomes divided by the total possible outcomes. In other words, I like to think of it as what you want divided by the total things that could occur. So in this case, we want a red marble, so there's two chances of getting a red marble out of a total of three possible marbles. So the probability would be two thirds of picking a red marble. And you could write that as P of R, like the probability of a red marble. So let's get into some other examples here. So the first one, you can see we've got a line segment here. Okay, and we've got some points on the line segment A, B, C, D, but it's asking us what's the probability that if we pick a point at random on this line segment, okay, let's say I'm blindfolded and I just pick a point, what's the probability that we lie, uh, we pick a point that lies somewhere in between B and C, so right here. Well, now in this problem, what we're thinking about is the length of success divided by the total length. Okay, whereas over here we were counting the number of successes out of the total possible. Here we're considering the length of success, meaning the length that we want out of the total length. So in this case, you can see it's one, two, three, okay? So three units, okay? Divided by a total length of, you can see, eight units. So our probability is gonna be three eighths. And you can write probability as a fraction or a decimal, or if it says what's the percent chance, then you could convert it into a percentage. But probability in general is between zero and uh, one. Zero meaning no chance, one meaning 100% chance of success. Now example two, now we're moving from one dimension to two dimensions, we're talking about area. And it's asking us what's the probability that you pick a point at random inside of this rectangle that it lies in this shaded region, okay, outside of the circle. Okay, so again, what we wanna think about is what do we want? Well, we want the area of success, okay? The area of success, which is the shaded area, divided by the total area. Okay, well, let's talk about this area of success. So to get this shaded region, we're gonna take the total area, which is 10 times 20, that's 200, minus, we're gonna subtract off this circle. Well, you can see that the diameter of the circle is 10, which means that the radius is gonna be five which means we're subtracting pi r squared, which is pi times five squared. So that gives us the shaded region. Now we're gonna divide by the total area, which is the rectangle, 20 times 10, which is 200. So let's go to the calculator. Let's see what approximately what that comes out to. We've got 200 minus five squared is 25 times pi, so 25 pi. Uh, let's see here. Uh, it's 121 approximately divided by 200. So it's coming out to about 0.61 or in other words, about a 61% chance, but the probability is 0.61. Now the third example, before I get into that one, in three dimensions, I just wanna mention that if you're preparing for the ACT or the SAT, check out my huge ACT math review video course and my huge SAT math review video course. We go through a lot of examples together, a lot of formulas, a lot of things that you would uh, likely see on the exam and how to approach those types of problems. So check out some of the free previews uh, that are available. See if it's right for you. A lot of students have taken those courses and benefited. They said that they've improved their overall scores. So check that out. And uh, let's get into this example three though. If you wanna talk about the volume now, okay, we're talking about the volume of success divided by the total volume. In this case, it's asking us, what's the probability that if we pick a point in this cylinder at random, what's the probability that that point lies inside of one of these spheres, okay? So here, when we're talking about the volume of success, we're talking about the volume of one of these spheres times three, since there's three of them, okay? So it's kind of like tennis balls inside of a, you know, a cylinder, right? Well, let's see, the formula for volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. The diameter is eight, so that means that the radius of one of these spheres is four. So this is four thirds pi times four cubed. But remember, we have three of them, okay, three spheres. So that represents the volume of success. And we wanna divide it by the total volume, which is the volume of the cylinder. Now remember the volume of a cylinder, it's the area of the base, which is pi r squared times the height, which is 24. So let's see if we can simplify this down a little bit. The threes are gonna cancel. And then here we've got, let's see, this is gonna be a four to the fourth times pi, right? That's the numerator. 
And then in the denominator, 24 is like four times six. So that's gonna be four squared times four, which is four cubed times six to the first times pi. And then you can see the pi's are canceling. Three of these fours cancel with three of these fours, leaving one left over. So we end up getting uh, four divided by six, which is equal to two thirds. So that's our probability of picking a point at random in here and that you end up inside of the sphere. So I hope this helped you how to understand uh, working with geometric probability better. Subscribe to the channel, check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.